and the series of learning programming in C. We are discussing about looping statements in C or you can say loops in C. In the previous video, I have discussed some basic points about uh, loops like why do you write loops in your program, right? The need of looping statement in your program. What are exit controlled loops? What are entry controlled loops? Some other uh, you know important points about uh, loops we have discussed in previous video but now in this video I will be talking about four loops. Three type of loops are there for while and do while. So, in this video I will be talking about for loop in C in detail. Syntax of for loop, how to write for loop in your program, working of for loop with the help of flowchart as well as with the help of a program and other uh, some other important points also about for loop right uh, like different ways to write for loops in C fine. So, every single detail I will talk in this video about uh, this for loop in C right. So, now let us discuss for loop in C. I hope you know why we use loop in C when you want to execute a statement or uh, many statements multiple times repeatedly then for that we use looping statement in C. So, this for is what it is the you know most popular you can say uh, loop uh, every programmer use this loop this is you can say the most popular loop in C. Why that also we will discuss because it is having many advantages rather uh, than the, that while loop and do while loop and this is what entry control loop. What is entry control loop? Please see the previous video in the side button you will come to know what is entry control loop. So, this is entry control loop like while is also entry control do while is exit control loop right. So, now what is first of all see the syntax of writing for loop in your program. For is a keyword simply write you will write for right. And in this braces what you will write? Three expressions we will write, three statements. Here three expressions we will write or uh, and after every expression semicolon here also we have semicolon means two semicolon in for loop these are compulsory to write in for loop right. And after that in curly braces we will write body of the loop means the statements you want to execute right. If you have a single statement then no need to write curly braces if you have multiple statement within this for loop body then you have to put down put this curly braces. Now the expression 1 this is what or you can write here initialization. Here you can write condition semicolon and here we will write this is what update uh, or you can say modify update expression or modify expression or increment or decrement whatever you want to write right. See here condition we are checking condition before entering into loop that is why we know we call it as entry controlled loop right. Now see the working of this loop let me take one example. Suppose I want to print number from 1 to 10 right 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. What you can do two ways are there either you can write printf 1, printf 2, printf 3 and up to n 10 printf you have to use 10 printf statements. But it will not look good to write 10 printf statements just to print number 1 to 10. So, what you can do you can write down this with for loop with a loop with any loop for while or do while. So, now how you will write for here we are going to initialize right initial for initialization I am taking a variable i. i is it is like you can say girlfriend for loop that is why I, <laughs> generally we use i variable for initialization i or j or k. i is equal to I am initializing this with 1 somewhere in the program I am not writing the complete program here right to print one number from 1 to 10 you have to include header files then void main then uh, obviously you have to declare this variable i because we cannot directly use this variable here this is what initialization but before that you have to declare this variable in time in your program. Now condition, condition is what you want to print number till 10. So, the loop would be executed till i becomes less than equal to 10 right and then i plus plus I am going to increment because I am going to print 1, 2, 3, 4 like this and within this loop this body of the loop I am printing i is equal to percentage d because data type is integer and I am just printing i that is it right now see the working of this for loop. First is this is what initialization. So, first i would be initialized in memory in memory I have a variable i and the value of i is now 1 that is it. Now this is first step second step is condition would be checked i less than equal to 10 i is 1 and this is 10 1 is less than equal to 10 yes condition is true 
right? Now control will not go to the third one, increment or decrement, the modify expression, no. Now if condition is true, control will enter into this for loop. And in this for loop, I have written one statement printf i is equal to percentage d. So, what output you will get? i equal to percentage d would be replaced with the first argument that is i value would be first, i value is 1, 1 would be printed on your screen. And that is it. Only one statement I have in this for loop. Fine. Now, after executing this body of the loop, control will go to here. Now, the i value would be updated. Now, here I have i plus plus. Now, value becomes 2 right now again control will go means third is what second this one is third the body of this this uh, body of the loop then this is the fourth step increment or decrement now after fourth again second condition would be checked 2 less than equal to 10 yes again control will enter into this loop what would be printed i is equal to 2 after that again i plus plus that is 3 condition would be checked i is equal to 3 would be printed and like this this is going to be in loop see this this and this these these statements are executing again and again but this initialization is what only one time this initialization this statement would be executed only once that's it these are in loops right now suppose i value becomes 10 so 10 would be printed Again i plus plus, now at one time i value become 11. So, 11 less than equal to 10? No, condition is false. Now, control will not enter into this for loop. If it is false, control will directly go out of this loop body. Whatever is there, that would be printed. Suppose I am printing here, I am writing here printf jk. So, after printing till 10, jk would be on your screen, right? So, this is what working of this for loop. You have to take care of this point, this initialization, this statement, this expression would be executed only once, right? This is working of this for loop. I hope you uh, got the steps of this uh, for loop. Let me draw a flowchart for this. First is this one, initialization, that would be executed only once, then condition would be checked. Now, if the condition is true, then control will enter into this then you can say this body of this this loop would be executed whatever you have written there then what value this modify or this update expression after modify or update again it will check the condition means again control will go to here check the condition if the condition is true again this is in loop if here the condition is false then it will not enter into this for loop and it will go out of this body of the loop. If there is printf, then that statement would be printed. So here it will go. So this is what uh, in a case of flowchart, I have shown the working of this for loop. I hope you got this flowchart. So sometimes in Viva, they can ask this question, how many times this statement would be executed? Initialization, that is only once. This is out of this loop, right? This is only one time. It is not compulsory that you have to uh, write down initialize the i value from 1. Here in this case it is compulsory because I want to print 1 to 10. So that is why value would be started from 1, right. But here you can also write i less than 11, that is also fine. If you want to print, suppose I want to print j k 10 times, right. So there you can initialize i is equal to 0, condition is i less than 10, 10 times i less than equal to 9 that is also fine 10 times right i is equal to 2 and i less than equal to should be i think uh, 11 right so let me give you one assignment for you if you got the working of this for loop then definitely you can answer this now you have to tell me in comment box what output you will get if you are writing for loop like this i is equal to 10 i less than 10 i plus plus and printf i am printing i right now each expression is having its own properties, some properties are there, you can say some interesting facts about for loop. It is not like that you have to write for loop like this always, no, there are many ways you can write for loop. This expression, this is completely optional, you can ignore this, you can, it is not compulsory to write this in this uh, for loop. This is also optional, this is also optional. So you can write down for loop something like this also, 4 and 2 semicolon. These two semicolons are compulsory, 
right you have to write down the semicolon but you can you can these are optional the all the three expressions so when you execute this thing then also you will get some output if you don't write this thing then simply write semicolon conditional condition and increment decrement if you don't write this thing and this thing simply write semicolon condition and semicolon that is also fine right so every expression is having its own properties so i'll be discussing every expression properties in next video and with the help of some examples we will discuss many examples many ways to write for loop statements then only you will be able to solve those kind of questions when some uh, code is given and you are asked to give the output of this code there they will not they will not uh, just write this for loop and this and tell me the output of this program no they will do some tricky things with for loop some experiments so everything we'll be discussing in this series one by one in next video i'll discuss that thing means if you are learning c then learn it in a good way every single detail about the topic you are learning every single tricky things every single experiment you can do with that topic it's not like that simply learn yeah this is the expression of writing for loop that's it now we will discuss while loop no there are many more left about this for loop so that i'll discuss in next video right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care